Next we look at 1B. So this is another similar problem to 1A, but we have some different numbers here, so you get some more practice uh, working with these formulas. Part I, we want distance from A to B. Once again, you want to make sure you know the distance formula whenever it's asking you for a distance. So we're going to put that one down first. And then we already have these points uh, labeled uh, like we had before. We just have some different numbers now. So now we're going to put these new numbers into the formula. x2 minus x1, we're going to do 6 minus 4 squared. And difference in the y's, 4 minus negative 3 squared. We're going to simplify inside each of these. Uh, you'll get a 2 squared, and then this will give you a uh, positive 7 squared. So, so we don't even need these parentheses, so we're going to do 2 squared plus 7 squared. And that's going to give us uh, 4 plus 49, uh, which is going to be square root of 53. If you can break down the square root, you want to go ahead and do that, but this one, uh, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. 53 doesn't have any uh, any way of breaking down to where we can take a number out front, so square root of 53 would be as far as we need to go. Uh, you do want, if you do have a square root as your answer, you do want to leave it in a square root form. You don't need to take it into a decimal. Okay, for the for part uh, double I, we have the midpoint of the line segment. So again, you need the midpoint formula for this one. We're taking the average of the x's and average of the y's. We need both these pieces for the formula. And you get a coordinate for our answer. So for the first one, we're going to go ahead and put in the two x values. So we have 4 plus 6 over 2 and negative 3 plus 4 over 2 and we're going to simplify. So we get a 10 over 2 which is 5 and 4 minus 3 is 1 so we get a 1 half uh, for the second part. So coincidentally the y values are both the same on each. Doesn't all, not always going to happen that way. It just depends on what the numbers that we have. Next we want the slope of a line passing through A and B. So we, we're going to use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We're going to put in the the points uh, as labeled there. So we're going to do the uh, difference of y's 4 minus negative 3 over 6 minus 4. That's going to give us uh, positive 7 halves when we uh, work this out. So again we got the formula is one you want to make sure you know. Plug in our points again from the same way we have it labeled. Uh, and then that's our final answer, 7 halves.